your boy McNuggets in the cut back with another video and happy Travis Day. Um, Travis Scott, McDonald's Collabo. If you are not 37 and follow media at all, uh, you probably have heard of this collaboration for about a week now. And um, my personal thoughts is that, um, you know, there's no, it's not really a recent precedent set with this. And I'm discussing it with my homeboy right now. I was pretty deep into one of the you know, the processions that go with uh, streetwear and culture and such a thing. And uh, we've just been discussing, like, how has this day been? Uh, the major events, uh, primarily through the lens of Twitter, uh, McDonald's, and the, the merch drop that just came out about 30 minutes ago, I want to say. Uh, 30 minutes to an hour or so, something like that. And... I gave my thoughts, gave his thoughts, and yeah, as you can see by the title, we kind of have an open discussion about what could have been better, what worked, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so shout out my boy CJ. I'm just going to read some of these uh, some of these points that were made, I suppose. So my, my primary one was there was some uh, actually pretty rockable merch. That was a pro. Uh, my con would probably be the price point of some of this merch. You know, being McDonald's, you know, it kind of priced out a lot of people that would have, I guess, been more interested in the McDonald's aspect of this collaboration. Uh, if you look at the listings, the shirts pretty much start at 48 or so. Uh, I don't see any less than 48, which is probably about reasonable for a Travis merch drop. But at the same time, it's like, you know, some of these are pretty simplistic. It's literally ones that have, let's see, there's some that just have, like, the mcdonald's and like the traditional um skeletal-esque uh font that travis works but there's also some that have like a simple pocket logo that on the back have their designs and i would say and cj also had this point a lot of the ones that involve the action figure which was prominent on the mcdonald's commercial uh the traditional travis figure that's been around since rodeo uh, they they pop the most to me, but there's also some other ones that I feel like works. Like if you look at the All American '92 shirt, which uh, has like kind of a older kind of kind of like VHS box font type of like um, uh, the the fuck shaft shaft like the kind of like a shaft font type of feel to it. A uh, very old style that works like that. Cactus Mac, which is kind of, you know, obviously Cactus Jack influence. Uh, the font is kind of also very, very Cactus Jack McFoley type, uh, edgy, you know, all that. I thought he did a lot with these shirts, honestly. Like, I thought, for the most part, the shirts, the shirts work. Uh, even the hoodies have, like, an apple pie, a uh, breast pocket, and then the back. I feel like there's always, like with all of these from what I see, there's a very good blend between the front either doing just enough or the back doing just enough. Uh, I, I like this drop a lot. Uh, the price points though, like the shorts, I don't know what material the shirt is. It says nylon shorts with graphics. So nylon being like uh, woven, I think, Nike woven shorts, I believe that's what nylon is. I may be incorrect about that. But uh, gym shorts, I guess, kind of like that. Um... The shorts start at 75 from what I see. Uh, the sum is 72. The All-American are 72. I'm not a biggest fan of that price point. I feel like shorts... I think shorts in general are overpriced in, in streetwear. That's a personal th uh, thought. But not a biggest fan of that. The hats cost about as much as the shirts. The beanies are 44 The dad hats... Well, it's the arches hat because it's like what the McDonald's workers wear. The arches hats. They're 44 as well. Uh, the body pillow is a big nugget body pillow. I thought that was interesting. That was pretty unique. Every month was like with Supreme, they always drop some random items you just wouldn't have expected. Uh, nugget one was my thing. And then they 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 have rugs, uh, also kind of streetwear illusion. They have a jersey with a uh, with the shorts collabo. Uh, they have a styrofoam cup ten pack with the twenty five dollars. I think that's probably the most value you'll get out of this collaboration. Uh, and th th that's really my main point. There's not enough value. Like, even the the box, the McDonald's traditional box you would get, like as a kid, 
forty dollars. There's not much value in this collaboration, which I feel like that's where he fails at here. Even Supreme gives you like value with some of their unique things. And outside of uh, the one item I listed earlier, which was the, uh, the 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 cup pack, there's not much of that. Even the basketball seventy five. I don't know. I, I can remember the basketball shouldn't be seventy five dollars. So my point, my 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 main con is the value. Uh, his he just didn't like most of the clothing items that weren't uh, action figure esque. He said specifically, "I love the iconic look of the Golden Arches, but that shit looked overtly corny, save a few pieces." I saw the M embroidered on a pair of Thugonomics jean shorts, which there are, there are some of that. The uh, John Cena S two thousand and five shorts, which hang up below the knee, uh, very two thousand and five s uh, Southern Houston feel, which I guess Travis is trying to, insp you know, inspire some of that memories with this shit. But he said they were two hundred fifty dollars, which I don't were they actually two hundred fifty dollars? I don't remember that. I didn't. I don't remember them being that much. But he was right, right that there are some shorts like that, and they did look kind of weird. Yeah, the cactus arches denim shorts, two fifty. Yeah, that was that's a bad look. That's not that's ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> he said check them out. Um, he liked the full size cut out of the nugget body pillow. Uh, he said not to put so much focus in the goddamn content of the meal and it could have been sensational. I, I, I guess his point was that. A lot of these shirts and and pieces revolved around the meal, um, like nugget related stuff, fries related stuff. I don't know what I don't. Know, I mean, I really don't know how else you could have went about doing this if you didn't. Like, I don't know. Could you have like had a graphic tee that had like Travis as an action figure popping out of the, the restaurant? I think he did something like that though. Um, I don't know. I think they covered this about any angle you could work. I mean, I didn't have any problems with them including like fry related, nugget related stuff. I mean, that tended to me to be the direction you wanted to take this anyway, in my opinion. Um, I think the big issue, and I think this is the main point right here. I'm going to read this off. I think a big issue with this one is all the gimmicky stuff like the lunch tray or the Happy Meal tote or the goddamn rugs. All necessary and overpriced, but I'm not a huge hater of prices. I think there's certainly a level of profit to be made you want to pay people, but sheesh. Yeah, that's all very fair. I mean, it's the same thing with Supreme, but, like, if you don't like the gimmick thing Supreme, those, like, lighters and cars and all that stuff, I mean, most of their drops are going to seem very gimmicky, too. And, I mean, even if you, like, look at other brands, now, a lot of brands are doing that stuff where, like, they make stuff that has nothing to do with it. Like, clothing items like um, vape. Is getting into that, or I guess they've been into it. You know, Bape has been around longer than just about anybody, but Bape is doing that more often now. Um, Palace does it. Um, and, you know, just about any brand you can think of that collaborates with a major entity, they are doing that now as well, where they're just trying to throw out many different uh, items. Um, Supreme obviously does it the most, so that's what everybody looks to. But I like it. I mean, this is supposed to be. An ensemble like cast of items for Travis it's supposed to be his major um, drop this year, I believe. And outside of LeBron collaboration, I, I mean, I, I mean, obviously Nike, but outside of the LeBron collaboration, this is probably his biggest drop. I would, I'd say it's bigger than LeBron collaboration. It's probably his biggest drop of the year. So I mean, he went balls to the wall, and I respect that. That's gonna be about it for me. Uh, I would like to see other people's thoughts. About this drop, about what got what was right, what was wrong. Did you try the food? I didn't personally. Uh, McDonald's shit, like that food, just fucked with you more than just about any other brand. I haven't eaten McDonald's like as far as like meals. Like I've eaten sausage biscuits, but as far as like meals, uh, I've drunk coffee too. But outside of meals, I've not tried anything really major. Like a burger or anything like that in years. Like it's been years. That shit just. I mean, it just fucks with you like any. I I I eat like shit. Like I eat fast food. I eat you know, but I don't eat like that bad anymore. It's it's too much. All right. Again, uh, hope you enjoy. Well, fine.